Okay, welcome to another edition of Real Estate Investor Talk, and I'm sitting here at New Copy. Um, it's a Kuzner estate, and I'm sitting alongside the, the Sun King himself, uh, Sol Kuzner, and his wonderful daughter, Andrea Kuzner. First of all, we're here for a iconic launch of Liu Copy Estate. But I think before we get there, I'd just like you to, to share a little bit about how it all started. I started with the Beverly Hills, which opened in '64, uh, in the uh, Rocks, which at that time was really a fishing village and it was quite controversial, but fortunately it turned out to be good. And from there, I started. On the Elongani was the second hotel, which was a much bigger unit. Then uh, I teamed up with SAP in '69, and then we never stopped building. <laughs> and then the iconic Sun City. Sun City uh, opened. The first phase opened December '79, and we was hugely successful. Uh, much bigger success than even I anticipated. So we, within six months, we were building the Cabanas and the Super, Dome, the Super Bowl, uh, which opened with Sinatra. And the last stage was the Palace of the Lost City and the whole Lost City development, and the water park. And, and then you started looking offshore, because obviously oh, yeah. something attracted, attracted you there. Yep, I just felt the need to to look for a, another challenge and uh, with that we uh, fired the Paradise Island Resort in the Bahamas where we built Atlantis and then also uh, continued uh, with the one and only. So you've left an indelible mark on certainly on the resort industry and yeah. we're here today now and, and this is your iconic hustle, isn't it? I mean, this is your, your property so, that you've been living, it's your home, yep. and now you're letting go. So tell us a little bit, and we've got no, Andrea, not, maybe Andrea wants to share we, We're not letting go at all. Not letting all go. we're doing is we take a little small part of the estate. Right. Uh, I think what we're launching today is really going to be, I think, one of the most spectacular uh, housing developments, mm -hmm. and I'm very happy that Andy so we fully involved with me in this and has taken the lead in working with the architects, outstanding uh, architects, all South Africans. So Andrew, you, you're driving this entire yes, project. I am. Tell us a little bit about where it all started, where you got to okay, now. I mean, today's the big launch, so yeah, it's really it exciting. It started that we were going to sell lots and then we got together as a family and decided this is, these are our neighbours, it's right on our doorstep. And we wanted to know neighbours who enjoy the same sense of beauty that we do, the same quality of the construction. Right. So we decided to rather build a housing estate, but to make it different. Most housing estates that, you know, it's one architect, all the houses look the same. With my father always doing a market luxury end yes. of hotels and resorts, we wanted to do something that was really unique. So we right. interviewed some of the top architects in South Africa. We want to create um, a development that not only was beautiful to look at, house to enjoy, but that was environmentally friendly. So we have um, rainwater systems put in, we have grey water systems, we have ability to put solar energy into it. The materials that architects are using are sustainable. Um, we bring back the famous and the native vegetation to the, to the um, estate, as opposed to the vegetation that was there before. So all in all, we think it's going to be very interesting. The third thing that makes a point of difference is following um, to what they do in the States, um, in big right. developments, where you have communal gyms, you have hospitality services. So if you're not living there full time, you can call ahead to somebody and say, fill up my fridge, or I need a caterer tonight. And that will be done, the tenants will be able to contract directly with our personal hospitality to arrange all services such as that. So I think it makes it a very unique offering. So we've got 48 lots, 1,250 square meters. Um, up to about 1,500 square up meters. Up to 1,500 square meters. And the housing range from about 350 square meters to about 700 square meters. So would you actually imagine this actually happening? Was this in your longer term plans or is it just something no, that just... No, something. Never ever thought of doing this. And I think possibly it's having sold up and not being involved. So it's something I think we'll enjoy doing together. Fantastic. So okay. Sol, I think uh, just in, in closing, I think 
everything you seem to touch turns to gold. So I think hopefully you can see this estate being a great success. And uh, thank you very great. much for the opportunity. Thank very you. Good. And nice to meet you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.